The sea covers over two-thirds of the planet's surface. Yet we know more about space and the universe than we do about our own oceans. Between the states of Connecticut and New York is the Long Island Sound. A naturally protected channel into New York City used for over hundreds of years. The Sound's rich maritime history has played a significant role in the growth of our country. Join us as we explore its unsung residents and its forgotten history. Captain Dennis here at Squalls Marine Divers, and today we're diving Fairweather Island Light. It's an area just uh, a little bit west of the uh, lighthouse, and uh, a little cold today. We've had a brief hiatus, just been awfully windy, haven't been able to get in the water. I'm still surprised at the level of visibility, how much we can actually see. You can see here that there's some silt but that's uh, mostly the fault of my anchor. This little guy, he's a uh, heard him called the periwinkle. He just kind of slowly moves his way through the mud here. Just a big snail. All that fits in that tiny little shell on top. These guys have been all over the place lately. These super cool little jellyfish. They don't sting you or anything. And uh, at night, if they get bumped, they'll actually light up. I've seen them blue, I've seen them green, at least from what I can remember. And uh, they're all over the place. And here's a spider crab, just making his way across the bottom like he's late for work or something. The water started to warm up, so uh, there's starting to be a lot more activity down here. In all the years I've been diving out in the sound, I haven't ever come across one of these jellies. This is a moon jelly. So, uh, got these four little, uh, I'll let you Google and find out what those four little things are. Because this is a kid's show. But anyways, uh, here we have a starfish. Just hanging out with some oysters, you know, talking about the neighbors, I think. Now here we have a conch snail, or a whelk, or a scongeal. I've been I've heard this thing called a million different things. And I'm not sure what's going on here, but it looks like a gang of hermit crabs have just assaulted this snail. I was going to call the fish cops and report it, but we have to let nature take its course and stand by and watch. Here we have two... Horseshoe crabs, you can only see one, which I'm pretty sure is the male. And the big female is underneath the mud in front of him. And you'll see these are, this is how she's getting her oxygen through these little holes. These guys are just buried hanging out here. I think they're going to wait for it to get warmer before they start moving. Here's another whelk that we come across it's doing better than the last one we saw i used to come here to collect whelks for my friend greg who told me a story about he caught a bunch of these and left them in a bucket in his kitchen sink or his friend's kitchen sink i don't remember but long story short him and his friend left and they left the whelks in the bucket about two or three hours later the whelks crawled all over the kitchen on the ceiling the walls the whole cabinetry and everything needed to be repainted so if you're going to eat these things don't leave them unattended And here's another big, giant, slow-moving snail. Not every video can be super exciting. But hey, some people dig snails. So that's why I have to do this for the snail lovers. This would be a big hit in the snail community. A 
On my way back to the boat at the end of the dive, I came across this big old honking piece of steel or iron. And I decided to take a little bit of time and look into it. Now this is right off of the lighthouse. So this could be part of a shipwreck. This could be something that fell off a barge. This could be a lot of things. I just want to take some time and uh, maybe dig around the sides, fan the sand, and see if I can uncover a little bit more, see if it's attached to something, see if it's by itself. As I dig down a little bit, about maybe two or three inches, I start to come across a lot of clams. There are a lot of clams. These are The clams are sitting there sideways. You can see uh, just, uh, just below the mud. I'm not really prepared to thoroughly investigate this piece. Oh, look at little guy. Okay, put him over here. But you know, it's uh, this is why diving is fun. You never know what you're gonna come across. So uh, spend a little bit more time looking around. You see more clams, and it kind of looks like it's like a, it might be a giant chalk or something. I don't know. We're just, just shooting in the dark here. When you come across something like this, it really starts to hold your attention because you want to find out what it is. And that's the whole uh, discovery thing with scuba diving. I'm going to take one more look at the whole thing. It's got these knobs, little bumps on it. And uh, trying to clear this up for you so you can get a better look at it. But if you have any ideas what it might be, write in the comments below. Your guess is as good as mine, folks. Well, we've reached the end of our dive, and it's time to make our way back up to the boat. I'd like to thank you once again for joining us for another wonderful video. And uh, we encourage you to check back with us. We also came out with these super cool Squall Marine Diver t-shirts that you can find on our website. Every time somebody buys a t-shirt, it helps us make these videos. It helps pay for the cameras and fuel and all that good stuff. Our next dive will be in Westport at Kikini Island, where everybody goes to hang out during the summer. And uh, it's a pretty cool dive. You should check it out. Until then, I'm Captain Dennis.